substantially. Toronto-based fashion chain Medicino won't reopen its stores. Now, I just want to say that I think the world is like going a little bit too far. It's just over, like, overreacting. But I understand, like, people like don't know how to take care of themselves. Well, some of the people, I ain't gonna say all people, but some of the people don't know how to take care of themselves. They don't know how to wash their hands. They don't know how to respect other people's things. They don't know how to respect people's circle, privacy, their body bubble, or whatever you call it. And I just feel like it's just so stupid, but at the same time, it's not because, first of all, they doing too much, but second of all, on the other hand, people really don't give a crap. So it's like, and I just think they just, I don't know. It's, you know, but before we get into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah. So. Toronto based women's fashion chain, Mendokino, Mendokino. Mendokino has announced its plan to restructure itself under bankruptcy laws, a move that will result in all or substantially all of its 28 stores in Canada staying closed for good. Like many others, the chain shut down its physical stores in March when the coronavirus pandemic started in Canada. It began a cautious process of reopening some of them in the late June when restrictions lifted. But the company filed paperwork last week to suggest that, it's, that it is scraping those reopening plans or instead intends to turn itself into an online on, only seller of women's clothing. As a result of cha challenges resulting from the pandemic, the company recently made the very difficult decision to discontinue or substantially all of the stores operations and to focus on an e-commerce model the chain said in paperwork posted online by the involvency trustee or Chuti, handling the restructuring manikino revealed it owes 2.8 million to its main lender and td bank and 5.7 million to various other unset on oh my god <sighs> unsecured creators including landlord suppliers and other payment processing companies founded in 1987 mandakino has have has a half dozen stores under its eponymous brand name and two dozen of the lower price m boutique According to trade publication Involvency Insider, which first reported the plans, the chain has 28 stores in the GTA. It's the first Canadian retail retailer to succumb to COVID-19, joining Aldo Reitman's and David's Tea in announcing reconstructing plans in recent week that will result in the closure of all and some of their physical stores. And this is more to come, so I will read some of that when they have more tea about what's going on. But other than that, bye! That was the stupidest.